What's up all? So we're back again with a, a match review. So it's just finished Swansea 2, Sunderland 1. Um, disappointing result. Uh, game of two halves really, um, if I'm honest. First half was, well, if I'm, if I'm honest, it was shocking. <clears throat> um, it was a shocking performance first half. I was a little surprised with the, the team selection. Um, so we started off, um, we made one change. Uh, Dan Neal came back in the team. Um, for Ahmad, so we had Patterson in goal, we had Gooch, Onai in bat, Alicia, Jack Clark, we had Corey Evans, Dan Neal in the middle, and Roberts, Pritchard, and Emberton. Uh, where do you start? Um, from the off, you know, the, the lack of a centre forward now is uh, it's killing us. You know, when you haven't got that, when you play that false nine, the ball's got a stick. In our first touch, you know, Embleton, Dan Neal, Pritchard, the, the first touches and the ball control was absolutely terrible in the first half. Absolutely shocking. Having said that, you know, the goals came from bad defending, you know, not picking your men up, not following runners. You know, the, the boss just closed us down. We started making mistakes, but they said the, the two, two really, really poor goals that we conceded. I think the timing of the second goal right on half time kind of killed us a little bit. Um, the system that see a system didn't work. Dan Neil for me, like I've said, he's been offered for weeks. I was surprised to see him back in the team. Pritchard again, he's been off form. Um, Emberton for me should be nowhere near the starting lineup. You know, he's, he's nowhere near good enough. His first touch is not good enough. He, he flatters to deceive, like I've said in numerous videos, and he you, you would see a difference when we when we brought Ahmad on and Bennett on the, the change in the team. But in our first half. We didn't really get we didn't really get into their half, you know. We again we've got some got into but we didn't even really get into any any decent positions really in the first half. The ball was just keep on coming back at us. We were getting forced to play it long, we kept giving it away. You know, we made stupid decisions, trying to pass the ball in field, it was getting nicked off us. So uh, conceded that two goals, the one right in half time, ended up going at half time two nil down, which you know if I'm honest. I was looking at it could be a Pearson, you know, the way we were playing, it was looking like it could be a, a four or five. But second half, and it just shows you, uh, Tony Mowbray, he put Jack Clark up front, and what a difference it made. You know, just having that focal point and somebody who was challenging there, back, back four, back three, causing havoc, paid off in the 50th minute. You know, Jack Clark picked the ball up, he's turned, ran at their defence, fired a shot in the bottom corner. Game on. Um, you know, and they were panicking. You know, the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, it was all us, and we just couldn't get that second the, the second goal equaliser. Um, but just having that forward, that cent that centre forward there makes all the difference. You know, I think you think you went to a back four, we had Gooch, um, O'Neill, and Bat and Alice here, then we had Corey Evans just sitting. With then Dan Neil and then obviously Clark was playing further forward with Emberton and uh, Pritchard and Roberts around him. Uh, and then we made the changes. Bennett come on and went and played on the right hand side. Again, made a difference. Was getting at his man, trying to cut inside. We know his best position is the left hand side, but I think he tried to get him to play the same type of position as Roberts, where he can cut on his left foot. And uh, now we just couldn't get that break for the second goal. But a game or two offs. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get that equaliser. You know, then they obviously played, you know, as all teams do when they're winning, when they're winning towards the end of the game, the time wasting some tactics and, you know, goalkeepers gone down when there's no wrong with them, which allows the, the manager to get some tactics across. But um, disappointing, disappointing day. Second half performance was much better. You know, we're a different team. Second half, we got at them, we, we got the ball down. And it's purely because we had that centre forward up there. Um, so you know, moving forward, what do we do? Does he play Jack Clark there all the time? Does he does he give Max Thompson a go out of the twenty threes? You know, he's, he's he's in good goal scoring form. You know, is, is he not ready to make the step up? Have we got nothing to lose by putting him in? Even having him on the bench, you know. But I think you know, moving forward, we have to have that four point because the false nine just didn't work at all the day. We got battered. Um, but let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Um, but for me, you know, player ratings, Patterson, 
a few dodgy moments, but again, made some cracking saves in the game. Probably kept us in it, so I'm going to give him a send and a half. Gooch, I thought, had a poor game today. In our first half, he was terrible. Second half, he improved, but I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. O'Neill, same 6 out of 10. Danny Bat, uh, I'll probably give him a 6 and a half, 7. Elise again was trying to get, get four as well, but he, he, he was quiet. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Jack Clark, again, you know, once he made the switch up front, he got the goal. My man of the match, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Corey Evans, probably a 6 out of 10. Dan Neil, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, and I, and I, he's a young lad and, a, and I, he's a homegrown talent, but for me, at the minute, he's not good enough to play at this level. Um, maybe it's different when we've got the, the focal point up front, but in that middle, he, do, he doesn't control it enough and he's not strong enough and he gives it away and he makes stupid decisions. So I'm going to give him 5 out of 10 and for me, I would, I would, I would take him up the team. Um, Embleton again, 5 out of 10 for me, I thought he was terrible again, his first touch is terrible. He, he just only got one pace, so he's another one I wouldn't have in the team, so 5 out of 10. Pritchard. He was probably the best out of the three of them. Um, I'd give him six out of ten. But again, he could be another one. His place could be in doubt. Um, Roberts. Another quiet game of the year. You know, players, it, once he's been worked out and the, the stop and cutting on his long, his left foot, he's, he's kind of knackered. So I'm going to give him a, a six out of ten as well. Uh, the substitute that came on. Bennett, I thought, did well when he came on. You know, he got at his man. Probably a, a six and a half out of ten. Um, Abdullah Bar didn't really do much when he came on, give the ball away a couple of times, probably give him a 6 out of 10. Matetia looked to get on the ball, looked to get stuck in, but wasn't on long enough, I'd probably give him a 6 out of 10 as well. Um, but my man of the match would be say, would be Jack Clark, I'm going to give him a 8 out of 10 for his performance, he got the goal, got us back in it. Um, but you know, the 2000 fans that travelled down there, seen again, they see seen a game of two offs. But, we move on now to, to Wigan next weekend at home. We'll see what Tony Mowbray does moving forward, see what he's got to see after the day's game. He's got to be disappointed with that first half performance. He'd be encouraged by the second half performance. And that to me proves that we need to do something with this centre forward position. We either get somebody to play there, um, you know, as an out and out number nine, doesn't matter what, what size they are, do we am I am I'd in there? Do we put Bennett up there? But somebody has to, has to be there as and play as a centre forward because the false nine for me isn't working. Um, but let us know what you think below. I think we're down to 11th place now, about mid table. It's not the end of the world. Um, encouraging signs second half, but we move on to, on to Wigan next weekend. Hopefully, we can get, we can get back to winning ways. You know, I think that's four or five without the win now. Uh, so, we need to try and get out of this habit. And, and get back to winning ways. I've heard that we look and we are looking at a, a centre forward as a free agent who is injured at the minute, which is not going to help us immediately. So we either I'd be tempted to, to put Max Thomas on the bench, just give him a run out, give him a go. We've got nothing to lose. But let us know what you think. Um, but if you're coming back from Swansea, see if journey back. Um, and as always, um, take it easy, stay safe, watch out for the the match preview for Wigan during the week. Um, Join us on the Sunday bunch tomorrow on SAFC Fan TV at 8 o'clock. Please like and subscribe to the video. And uh, like I said, take it easy, stay safe, and uh, we'll speak soon. Bye-bye.